Hey everybody, it's Suzanne. Um, this is the um, uh, the last segment here of the cream soap. I just want to let you know um, where I was. I, I put it in a container like this in a lid and I uh, went in and I chopped it up like uh, two times a week. And um, so this is week five and I did use some before this. As you see, I dipped in here. I made a real nice foaming bath whip uh, that in lavender, and that turned out really nice. And so I wanted to make a um, a men's shaving soap, um, something of my own creation. So this is what's left of the um, cream soap. Um, I really like this, and I think I'm gonna. Um, you know, have some around all the time. It's nice to make a, a foaming bath whip or um, uh, some kind of you know, cream soap. I haven't done a lot with it yet, but um, I hope to. Um, so this is, um, you have to go in and it's kind of hard to uh, stir around, but especially when the uh, pot was fuller. <laughs> But um, anyway, so um, I thought just from my notes and what I had saved and um, stuff, I thought I'd make my own version of men's shaving soap. And starting with the base here, which is the um, cream soap. And um, it's really, really nice. I, I like it. And hopefully I'll find more things to make. I'm sure I will. We're never at a loss for things to make. And um, so I'm going to put this in the KitchenAid and whip it. It was really hard to stir. I can tell you that. The first week and second week, it's like, oh my goodness. It took like a half hour, 45 minutes, and then I had to take a break because my arm got sore. But, alright. So, but it was um, actually um, nice. I have two ounces of glycerin, um, some white kaolin clay chloride, um, the barbershop, barbershop fragrance oil from Wholesale Supply plus um, so there's three pipettes in here and each pipette is three mils so that's nine and I'll, I'll see how it smells from there and then just mix this all up everything is in here oh shea shea so I there's already shea in the recipe when you make the soap initially but this is liquid shea, and like you can see, it's liquid. So there's two ounces of that in there. And um, just stir it up here till it's nice and creamy smooth, and that's going to go in here. 
I hope this works out for the guys and I hope they like it. Now the next thing is I gotta search down some places to buy um, the shaving brushes wholesale at a nice price. Okay, so I'll turn this back on. <laughs> Now, um, I did put just a tad of water in here when I was whipping it. I started out with a cup, so there's not even a, I'd say like an eighth of a cup is what I use. So very, very little water. But because there's water in here, um, and water does attract um, mold and mildew all that stuff so maybe you want to put a preservative in um, I think I will do that hang on just a second okay all right so there's a Germaben 2E is what I just put in there and um, one, out, um, one ounce. Okay, I think I like it. I hope the guys do. Um, fragrance is on a low key, so let me do some more here. But then maybe a guy doesn't want a lot of fragrance up by his nose when he's shaving, huh? So, alright, so that would be two more pipettes, which is um, total six mils. Each one is three mils. Yeah, now I can smell it. So, 
I got these low profile jars. That's kind of nice because when they do their brush, they've got a little, they don't have to go, you know, in really, really deep. So that's, I think, nice. Alright, six. I'll start out with six. And then, um, just because I don't know where these have been or what fingers have been in here. You never know, even though they're clean. I spritz them with alcohol and then wipe them. Okay, try this again. So I had these pro low profile jars. I don't know where the video stopped, but the memory card was full. Spritz them with alcohol and um, wipe them out and ready. So. Now you all probably notice the same thing, but when you're whipping stuff, it's real fine when you at first, and then as it sits, the air kind of uh, settles and works its way out, and you lose the volume. So what you fill all the way to the top um, is not going to be like that. This is whipped really fluffy. It's almost like egg whites, sort of. And I don't know if that's good or or not. I'll ask my husband. He's he'll he'll try it for me, and I'll kind of go from there. And um, when next time I make it, if I have to adjust it, I'll uh, I'll mention it. And um, I don't. So if you, so I did give you the um, the recipe of what I did here, but if you experience um, a problem and you, you want to switch it up, you can let me know if you have a guy that will try this for you and let you know what he thinks and if you have any ideas, if you could leave comments for everybody. Since this is the first time, you know, it's probably something that has to be adjusted in it and but um let's see that, that's about it so while I'm filling this um, I have a big show festival this weekend this next weekend and I'm excited um, I live in North Carolina and this is in Virginia where I'm going so it's a four day event and um, I plan to take this, I'll have my husband try this um, tomorrow, if it's good I'll take it. If it's not, I guess he gets six jars of shaving cream for Father's Day. <laughs> oh, he's going to love me. But anyway. So, um, that's about it. To keep the video short, um, I'm going to stop here. Uh, I guess it's just use our imagination as far as packaging goes, how you want to make it manly or whatever. And, um, not that it's just for a man. I suppose anybody could use this. Um, any, anywhere you got to shave. So, um, I think it's good all the way around. Um, that's about it. So I'm going to finish this and I'll maybe have a picture. And um, have a great day.